What's up everybody? It's your boy Ko. It's lunchtime, bitches. Check this out. I made that shit, bitch. I made that shit. <laughs> That's not the real me, by the way. Who is the real me? You will never know. Is it okay for you guys to be watching these kinds of videos? I don't know. Is it for entertainment? Is it for educational purposes? Why are we doing this? Why am I doing this? Why am I journaling my thoughts every day? Well, I can rationalize my actions and say that, oh, I'm doing this so that in 10 years, in 15 years, I can look back and see how far I have become. See how my thoughts have changed. And then I can also argue that for the moment, when I'm making these videos, I get the chance to sit down to reflect on what has been happening in my life and to come up with ideas and plans moving forward. What am I gonna do today, tomorrow? In the next few weeks, next few months, next few years of my life. If I don't sit down, if I don't talk it out loud. If I don't have a reason to be sitting down and talking about what's been happening in my life. Processing my emotions. Making sense of the world around me. Then I'm not going to do it. If I don't have the reason to be doing it, then I'm not going to do it. Simple as that. <laughs> it's common sense, man. So, in a way, I guess there's a meaning to what I'm doing. I'm not just doing it for, for, for no reason at all. Why are we watching these red pill videos teaching us how to attract a woman? How to lose your virginity, how to get in bed with a woman, how to pull bitches, how to text a girl, how to improve yourself, how to level up. I don't know, because we are narcissists in one way or another. We are self-centered. We always think about life in terms of how it affects us. Because realistically... That's the only way you can sort of make sense of the world by thinking of it in relation to yourself. I'm not really making a lot of sense, am I? You know what I've noticed? The majority of these videos about guys attracting women, I guess you can say red pill channels. A lot of these how to attract women kinds of Channels, who's the author behind them? Who's the creator? <laughs> it's a little bit of a philosophical question. Who is the creator of these channels? Who are they? And I know you're gonna say, attack the message, not the messenger, but I think it's worth noting the creator behind these channels and analyze their motives behind making these videos. A lot of these guys, they're single. <laughs> Real talk, a lot of these guys, they're single. They are my age. They're young men. What are they teaching us? They're teaching us how to attract women. Have to go woman? Can they keep a woman? Is that what you want? And I know, I know you guys are gonna argue that how come all the best coaches in the world, they're not playing. There's a quote about coaches don't play or, or whatever. Um, what, what is the quote? Coaches don't play. Basically coaches, they are not capable of playing. So that's why they're coaches because they cannot play that's why they are coaches do you think mike tyson's coach he can <laughs> he can outbox mike tyson who else 
Who else? I, I can't I can't think of a good example right now. But I, I know you guys know that some of the best athletes in the world, their coaches, well, they have been, their coaches have been one of the best in their prime, but they are no longer in their prime. That's why they are coaches. <laughs> what about these guys? These red pill guys. Are they coaches? Or are they... Or are they players? Are they on the field right now? I want to ask you guys, when you go to the doctor's office and you see a fat, overweight doctor, do you trust that guy? Or when you go to a gym and then you hire a personal trainer and he's obese? Um, I know these are like extreme examples, but do you, do they suddenly have credentials to be teaching you guys stuff? I think most people would say that no, I, they wouldn't trust those people. In the same way in this community, if you want to be really miserable, if you want to give up everything in life, um, not strive for anything meaningful, if you just want to be complacent, if you want to just accept faith, as it is, it's over, bros. It's over. <laughs> then you should be watching these channels. My channel. You should be watching um, Incel TV. You should be watching Zuma Trader. He's funny. No, I, I don't have beef with Zuma Trader. He's funny as fuck. <laughs> and I watch it for pure entertainment purposes. But if, you, if you're not doing this, I unironically, if you're doing this and you really think that it's over bros, then it's over bros. They are qualified to be preaching that kind of stuff. In the same way, if you want to have a successful marriage, <laughs> why are you following these red pill channels, man? What, what are they teaching you? Picking up chicks? How to get her number? How to get her into your bed? Escalate things, choosing signals, <laughs> all these buzzwords, I don't know man, I don't know what I'm talking about, let me just enjoy my lunch, it is beef minced with beef liver mixed together and then also pasta and pesto, yummy as fuck, nutritious and delicious, alright, um, I'm gonna go now, I hope you guys are doing well, you know what? I'm not gonna tell you anything. Just go live your life, man. Just go live your life. Unsubscribe from this channel and go live your life. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, man. Welcome to my world, I guess. Thanks for coming along and I hope you're all the best. Peace, stay strong and God bless.